Champion, we are here. It's going down Saturday, January the 12th, live right here at 1 to 2 p.m., depending on different variables. But I'll update you on Friday or Saturday on the exact time. Just be prepared to enjoy and have fun. Chaos, you know, a, a lot will be going on. Heavy debates, crazy debates, you know. Wild discussions, you know, who will be champion of the year. We're going to get into all of that. The entire top 20, honorable mentions, uh, placements, everything. January the 12th, right here live. I know I was making, I made a joke saying uh, it's $25.99. Um, so a lot of you guys didn't see the video when someone may have told you, oh, he's charging $25.99. No, if you saw the video, I said it's $25.99. And if you shake my hand... Boom, you just shook my hand right there. It's free. Boom, it's free. It's free. So all you got to do is come here. Um, and, you know, when you see the thumbnail, it says Champion of the Year 2018, you're good to go. All I, all I think, I think you should be on time, you know, so you can see how things will play out. So if you jump in the middle of the conversation, you might be a little confused. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't you're not understand what's going on. So, you know, when you read a book, you don't just jump to the middle chapter. You know what I mean? I mean, to the middle of the book and just, you know, you got Start from the beginning, middle to end. So I suggest you jump in at the start of it. But if you catch it late, you know, just sit, sit back and enjoy. You know, you're going to be able to type in how you feel while it's going on. You know, you guys asked for it to be live. So we're here. This is called delivery. We're delivering. Champion. You see what I'm saying? So uh, 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 updates. Updates on the surveys. If you already donated... The survey should be in your email address. Whatever email you address you use to sign up for GoFundMe, it's there. Trust me. I've been through this process a, a million times now. You see what I'm saying? SM7, the last month of the survey, and to now, it's in your, it's in your email. Trust me, it's there. You know how I know? Because I didn't go to sleep last night. <laughs> I did it manually. I made sure manually that everybody got a survey, so it's there. If you donated recently, check it again. Check it again. I just did it again. So on the hour, every hour, I'm making sure everybody got their surveys. So if you donated, you don't got to donate again. Don't worry about spending any more money. I don't need no more money from you guys. You see what I'm saying? So if you already donated, you don't have to donate again. The GoFundMe is at $11,600. So that means even if you take away the fees, because they're going to, you know, they're going to screw me on the fees. Even when you take away all the fees... It should be about $9,500. I'm good with that. You know what I'm saying? So it should be $9,500 to, uh, to $10,000. That's fine. So that means we we reached the goal. It's accomplished. The battle rapper of the year will, in fact, get $10,000. We know. Full transparency, we know. He's going to get it. He's set. So if you already donated, don't worry about donating again. Just check your email. Check your Gmail. It is there. You just donate again, it's there. If you want a survey, you got to donate. I'm sorry. That's just how it's running. I don't consider it you paying for a survey. I consider it as the people that put the money up decide where it goes. You're 20% of the final vote. So when we deliberate for however long, two hours, three hours, you guys have the most say. I account for about five, depending on the turnout, I account for about five to eight percent. You guys account for 20. So if you guys really believe someone is champion of the year and you really want to crown that guy, if that battle rapper has 20% of the final vote, he has a good chance to win champion of the year. I'm just saying. For the for the people, how 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 fair can we get? Just saying. Um, Avocado, Ava motherfucking Kyle the GOAT, a.k.a. the man of the year, a.k.a. Batman of battle rap, a.k.a. the Superman of battle rap, a.k.a. arguably the most important person in battle rap, huh? Shake my head, he will be doing champion of the year. Iron Man stopped me and said, yo, I got the Hulk. I said, I got avocado. What's up? Huh? 
Loki said we have a ho I got an avocado! Huh? What's up with that? Avocado will be shooting champion of the year. So salute to him. And salute to his team. Ruin your day. If you haven't already, subscribe to his channel. Honestly, I'm not just saying if he's a good guy. Loki has the best media channel in battle rap. I checked out, uh, was it Loyalty and B Dot? I checked out 10 minutes of their show. He has a, he has, he did something with Disaster. He's done something every single day, probably twice a day. So subscribe to Ruin Your Day if you haven't. It's, it's literally the best thing. He literally took over under everybody's noses. So subscribe to that channel. Trust me, it's, it's, the, it's the best. It's, you can't beat it. On top of that, his stuff just looks low key perfect. So shout out to Ruin Your Day. We'll be having a merger, you know, a work together session on the 12th. Ruin Your Day X champion for champion of the year. It's a beautiful thing, so just stay tuned. Criteria. Criteria, criteria, criteria. I feel like last year we just kept debating over each other. You know what I mean? We didn't really have strong points to, like, the bounce off, the pivot off of. It's just, oh, oh, he's better than him. He's better than him. Oh, no, 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 no. This year, it's outlined. Even in the survey, the criteria is outlined. I call it the six signs of a champion. So, it's very easy. So, you want to make sure the batter up has impact. We're looking at their impact. We're looking at their strength of schedule. We're looking at their performances, um, moments, their material, consistency. So those are the six signs right there. Like, oh, oh, he, oh, man, he, he had a dope year, but was he consistent? Did he show up? Was his competition fierce? Uh, was he impactful? Oh, he won, but his performances wasn't even that good. It's a lot of questions that could be answered. It's going to be a strong way to figure out who's where. Just saying. So the criteria is outlined perfectly. Um, let me settle the debate. When it comes to champion of the year rules, you want to see me. You don't want to see nobody else. You know, because I make the rules. I mean, I'm not trying to sound cocky or nothing, but, you know, I built it from the ground up. You want to refer to me for the rules. You know what I mean? I don't, if I want to know a ruling in the NBA, I'm going to go to the official NBA situation. So one rounders count. Two one twos count. Okay? They just don't count as much as a one on one three round battle. So let's say a one on one three round battle in my eyes is 10 points, right? There's no, it's actually there's no numbers behind it. So I'm just saying, and just in general, hypothetically speaking, it's 10 points. A one rounder, probably one or two points. Just a little, like, little touch up to your career for the year. I mean, for you, for, you know, padding stats for the year or whatever. Um, two one twos is the same thing, but they do count, you know. We will definitely add that on. I mean, that can be part of the discussion. You know, he did he did all this, and he had a one-on-one, -on -one, and, and he had a one-rounder, you know what I mean? So one-rounders and two-rounders, I mean, uh, one-rounders and two-on-two -two battles count, but it's just not even as much as a one-on-one -on -one three-round battle because that's what the champion of the year is for. It's not the tag team titles. You know, it's not the, the quick exhibition match, quick ex exhibition match titles. It's none of that. You know what I'm saying? So the importance, you know, the main thing as of right now, until I say otherwise, they count. It's just not as much as a one on one three round battle. Um <clears throat> so yeah, the criteria is laid out. It's been updated again. Fairness, 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 fairness. I feel like I'm being overly fair to the situation, even if you think I'm biased. Which I don't think I am. You know what I mean? I'm just going to get up here and give my opinion throughout the years. I mean, unless you're talking about Lord Lux, And I'll let you know. Like, yeah, okay, Lord Lux. He's God. He's the Lord and Savior of Battle Rap. I'll let you know that off, off rip. I've, I've been very vocal about A-Verb and uh, Lord Lux being my top favorite. Even when I judged at RBE, I voted for Pat Say to beat Verb. So that just shows that, like, no, nah, when it comes down to it, if you lose, you lose, you win, you win. It's just that simple. But on fairness... A battle rapper can upload a video saying Jay Black's corny and disrespect and violate me. Don't get too crazy. Please don't. Come on. Let's be respectful. But if, even if they did, they violated me, say all this stuff, they still can win champion of the year. If the stat sheet shows they won all their battles and they were very impactful to the circuit schedule, I would still vote for that person that disrespected me. So whether you're nice to me or you're mean to me does not matter. Just letting you know. If we shake hands, it does not matter. If I see you in the van, we talk, it does not 
matter. Come the 12th, I'm looking at my stat sheet and I'm picking. So being nice, being mean does not play a part. Again, let's refer back to O Red. I did not even have O Red number. All of 2017. Did not talk to this man. You see what I'm saying? No real conversation. Seen him at events prior, obviously, cool dude. But there was no relationship. He won champion of the year. Okay, so we don't gotta talk. You can be mean, you can be nice, it just doesn't matter. So it, it, there's a process, there's a process. To the winner, the winner, the winner, I'm gonna need all y'all help, you see what I'm saying, to get in contact. Cause you know, battle rappers are too cool for school, we know that. So they're, you know, man, I ain't watching. Oh, I won? Oh, I didn't even know I won. That's how they gonna be. Yeah, I was on the phone. I, I was on the phone when I, I won champion. I don't know what's going on. I, I have no clue what's going on. I watched that. Jay Black who? Huh? Champion, I never heard of that. <laughs> Did I won though? Cool, all right, all right, all right. You know, they're too cool, they're too cool for school. So what I'm gonna need from you guys, when the winner is announced, flood the Twitter. Flood the Instagram of that battle rider. Let them know Jay Black is looking for him. Jay Black is looking for you. Contact this man right now. Okay, you guys raise the money. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm taking care of everything else. I will be flying them out. In and out just to collect money on Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. So I run it out the venue for two different days. I had I pretty I, I have that venue, the conference spot, for two whole days. Let's have fun. So if the winner can get in contact with me and I can fly him out ASAP, the second he wins, I'm trying to book his ticket. So we can have a whole live press conference on Sunday morning. Get your get your coffee, you know, you know, get your breakfast. Let's talk to the, with the champion, champion of the year. So I just think it's gonna be a dope, you know, process. To the people on the panel, don't be afraid to give your opinion. I have security. I, ha I paid for security as well, so you can say whatever you want. Obviously, be respectful, but you can say whatever you want. Say whatever you want to me. You're good to go. Just let's have fun, people. Let's have fun. So let's run through this again. Champion of the year, Saturday. January 12th at between 1 and 2 p.m. is the start time. It may finish at 5, 8, depending on the debates. If we finish, if we finish the debate early, we'll jump into a different topic. Um, avocado, he's a goat, he's shooting. What more can I say? I I've done everything in battle right. What you got, avocado shooting your shit? It's over, it's, that's it. There's not, nothing not, not so I can do, it's over. Uh, survey updates. The survey is in your Gmail. It's in your email address. You're good to go. Just fill it out. It takes, uh, again, okay, let me talk about surveys fast. It takes between 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast you can answer a question. The questions, to me, if you've been paying attention to the leagues throughout the years, not just one league, not just two leagues, but for the majority of the top three leagues, if you've been paying attention, the question should be easy. Um, There's probably one or two Hard questions. I don't think they're hard. You know, if you just paid attention to the event, you know. If you pay for the pay per view, you should know. Okay, it's, it's, it's very simple. I think I may have messed up one question, but then again, I put in a fail safe just in case I messed up because you only have to score over seventy percent. You don't got to score hundred percent. You don't got to score ninety three. You only have to score seventy percent or higher. So you can miss like three questions, three or four, or whatever, and you'll be fine. So we're good on that. Even if I mess up a question, like the, the correct answer or whatever, so you're good. But um, if you fail the quiz, so that the first 15 question, the quiz portion, if you fail the quiz, you get a red flag. You won't know, but I'll see it on my end. You know what I mean? So if you get multiple red flags, you know, I call this the landmine questions. If you get, if you answer certain things like obviously blatantly wrong or you show blatant bias, it's going to show up on my end. It's going to be quarantine. Like, okay, check this out. Something doesn't seem right. He's probably cheating. So, honestly, if I said this right, I'm going to repeat myself again. The survey that I give out doesn't look that good. It looks very generic, very plain, very basic. Cool. I have no problem with that. However, I pay a lot of money for the security. So, I can see when you duplicate a response. I can see when, let's say you fill out a survey. Somebody tried this last survey. They did a, uh, they did a survey at, they completed a survey at like 5 p.m., right? And then two days later, complete another one. 
I can see that. I can match up your IDs. Each time you complete a survey, there's an ID attached to it based on your IP address. I can't see who you are, but I can see how you move when you're completing my survey. So it's literally a waste of your time if you try to cheat. Um, if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. I'm already gonna filter out your second response. So your first response is your last response. You have to complete the survey for it to count. It's gonna land under partial. So if you don't, if you go, if you, if you do 20 questions and stop, okay, that's it. So you wanna make sure you have 15 to 30 minutes. The only hard part or, or, or time consuming part of the survey is the last 15 questions. You see what I'm saying? Where, where it kind of, kind of pokes you and kind of picks your brain on who you should pick, why you should pick them, you know, based on a criteria. Let's, you, you know, because we just, oftentimes we just pick that person. Like, okay, Loaded Lux is the champion of the year. But then if I say, hold on, in 2018, what was his impact? Dang, he didn't really have much impact. Damn. Is he, is he really champion of the year? Oh, Loaded Lux, uh, he, he, he struck the schedule. Damn, he didn't, he didn't battle anybody this year. Damn, he, he's missing in two categories already. Performances. What great performance did he have in 2018? Oh, he didn't battle. He didn't, none of them. Moments. He had no moments. Material. There's no material. Consistency. So it's going to bring you through these layers. It's going to ask you to, it's another, another quick uh, update for this or clarification. Through each piece of uh, criteria, you're going to ask you to pick a first and second place. So you're picking twice. You're picking your top person, then the second best. Even for, champ for even for the last question, which is champion of the year, you're picking three people. You're picking who you believe is champion of the year. You're picking second place and you're picking third place. This is very important. This is very critical for us to, uh, for this to count for 20%. So I just need to know this information. Um, again, it's not, it's not forcing you in any direction. It's just making you be more aware of your decisions. You know, letting you not, it's, it, it, you're not picking blatantly or, or, or without, Blindly, let's so say you're not picking blindly, so let's focus on that, and it's all good, you know. Uh, let's have fun. Oh, the deadline, excuse me, the deadline, I'll, I'll put in the comments below too. The deadline for the surveys is exactly Friday at 11 59 p.m. The deadline for the survey is 11 59 p.m., so you have two days to complete this. Don't just jump into the survey. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't want that red flag on you. You don't want that red flag, you know. Again, you won't see it, but on my end, I see everything. So prepare a little bit. But I want the questions. I'll give you the first question right now. It says, uh, who, no, Romney versus Iron Solomon took place in when? In what year? 2017 or 2018? How fast did you answer that question? It's 14 more questions like that. 14 more questions like that. It's very simple. If you've been paying attention, this quiz should be easy for you. That being said, shake my hand, and I'm gonna thank y'all for everything that y'all helped me do. You know what I mean? Um, this is very, this, this, everything that's happened has made me want to continue this. I say that. Um, again, it won't be no guaranteed money, but uh, next year, I'll definitely look into this, making it happen again. And last, I keep saying I'm about to go. There will be no belt on Sunday, so when we do the press conference, there will only be the cash. For this year, I want the belt to have the battle rapper's name. Being that I don't know who's going to be the battle rapper, battle champion of the year, I can't make a belt. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like, oh, we know he's going to win, so let's just put his name on there. No, 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 no. I'm not going to know the name to put on the belt until Saturday. Okay? So I'm not going to start the production of the belt until Saturday. Or let's say Monday because the situation is probably close. But, uh, yeah. So Saturday... I'll get the belt, and uh, after the, we announce the winner, I'll look into getting the belt and his name engraved on the title. So on top of that, again, I'm since you guys helped raise the money, I'm taking all the expenses elsewhere from my pockets. So I'm gonna be flying out to whoever wins. I'll be driving out, flying out to whoever wins, and I'll be delivering their belt. Um, so it's gonna be a beautiful situation. I told y'all it's gonna be way better than last year. I warned y'all. I'm building that new Iron Man suit in his hair. With that being said, the champion!